We're going to the first shrine visit of the year. I have a cold so my voice is gone, but you know, I'll try my best, yay! We went to the Imamiya Ebisujinja in Osaka for our first shrine visit and it's actually the first time I'm doing the first shrine visit of the year in Japan and I'm really excited. Before entering the shrine you have to bow once to greet the gods, otherwise they'll get really angry at you. But no need to worry, the rules aren't that difficult. Just follow the few simple steps the Japanese gods made and you'll be fine. When you get to the main area, you do one more bow and then you can go to your offering. This time I threw in 5 yen go in for good luck and good fortune. Then you bow twice, clap twice, make your wish, and then bow once more and you're done. Easy, right? At the shrine shop you can buy omamori and omikuji as well. And on your first shrine visit of the year you go buy an omikuji which is kind of like fortune telling. So you buy it at the store and you shake the box, get a number out and give it to the store clerk, which the store clerk will then give you your fortune on a piece of paper. It's something Japanese people will definitely do. My boyfriend does it every every year and he puts the piece of paper, if it's good fortune, he puts the piece of paper in his wallet and takes it with him. He did it with me as well this year and we both got the same amount of fortune. We got the middle rank, which is not bad, but also not great fortune. They have places prepared where you can tie your fortunes to a string or a pole. So that's where we did. We went there and you fold your fortune in half twice and you tie it to the string or pole. There's also people like my boyfriend that like to take them with them, but to tie them and leave them there is the most common one. This time you decided to leave it here as well. And with that, we're done. We wanted to go to the Tenoji Zoo and it's really close to the shrine so we decided to walk there. On our way there we passed by the Tsutenkaku, a symbol tower of Osaka. There's a great view from the Tsutenkaku so there's a lot of tourists as well and on the back there was this really pretty painting so I was quite surprised. There's a lot of people but I can't wait to get to the zoo. We've arrived at the Tennoji Zoo. They've opened in 1915 and you can see over 100 species of animals here at the zoo. Ticket prices are also really really cheap. Only 500 yen for adults and 200 yen for kids. Too cheap in my opinion. We bought our tickets and went in and we decided to go from the right first and the first place we're gonna go is the chimpanzees. And it even seemed like the chimpanzees came to greet us. When we saw this we were really excited to see more and we were really glad that we came to the zoo. Chimpanzees live in the rainforests of Africa and like humans they are omnivores and they eat small animals, insects, along with the staple food of fruit. Next was the thing I was looking forward to the most, was the Californian sea lion. Especially QQ, who was born last year in June. He was in the news quite a lot last year because there was a few, he was missing for a few days. And I was really happy to see it, everything was fine and he was having a good time. California sea lions live from Alaska all the way to Mexico and everywhere in between. They are fast swimmers and can reach speeds up to 30 kilometers an hour. They can also hold their breath up to 15 minutes and they live in large group and are always on the lookout for predators and are really smart animals. They are super cute. Time to say goodbye. Bye bye. The next place we're going to is... The polar bear Gogo. He was born on the 3rd of December in 2004 in Russia and he then moved to the Tennoji Zoo in Osaka. Polar bears are the top predators on land. However, due to global warming, their numbers are dropping very quickly. They are very great swimmers and can swim for many hours at one time. When they find a prey, they dive on the water and when they get close enough, they go in for the final kill. Next was birds. 
Inside this huge, huge bird enclosure, there were many different species of birds and the inside also looked very, very natural. I even saw a night heron jump into the water and catch a fish. It was really cute when it ate it. The next place we decided to go to was the Tibetan or Chinese wolf. They live in a pack of about 10 and they're excellent hunters. Their coats look super fluffy and adorable. They live in Russia, Mongolia and Tibet and when they're hunting they can reach speeds up to 65 kilometers an hour but they're just adorable. Then we got to see the kings of the animal kingdom, the powerful lion. They're sleeping right now so they don't look particularly powerful nor very king-like. In the Disney movie The Lion King, the male was the king and the females were the side characters. But the reality is quite different. The females are powerful hunters and they take care of basically the whole territory. The males kind of move from place to place. The reality and the movie are quite different or not. Am I right? Next we went to see giraffes, jaguars and also not to forget very important, the tiger. And that was basically it so I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!